Welcome back to the Crazy Hat Chemist. Here we go. Video number 7 of 10 on solutions. So today we're going to be talking about the Van Hoff factor. That's I. So, bam! I, the Van Hoff factor, is the following. I is the number of particles in solution. That's an aqueous solution that's in water. See, that C-X-A-Y, that's a cation and an anion. We're going to take the X and the Y and sum them up, and then we're going to get the number of particles that are in solution, and that's going to be our I value, the Van Hoff factor. So let's do a couple examples, and then we're going to do a bunch of them. So here we go. Bam! Okay, that's sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is a cation-anion combination. So if you take sodium chloride, put it in water, for every one sodium chloride molecule, you get one sodium and one chloride. So that's one sodium plus one chloride. That's a Van Hoff factor of two. That's why it's I of two. All right, let's do another example. Here we go. So C12H22O11 is a like a molecular compound. It is not a cation anion combination. So when you put this molecule in water, it dissolves and does not disassociate. Unlike the sodium chloride, where it disassociated and broke apart between the cation and the anion. So that's why in this, you get a Van Hoff factor of 1. All right, let's give another one a try. This is sodium sulfate. So when you take sodium sulfate, which is a cation-anion combination, you get two sodium ions and one sulfate ion. So that's 2 plus 1 gives a Van Hoff factor of 3. All right, hopefully those three examples make sense. And now we'll do a bunch of them over here off to the side. So c 2 h 6 O2. Van Hoff factor, what do you think that is? That's a molecule. That's a Van Hoff factor of 1. The NaCl, that's a cation-anion combination. So how many cations do you see? 1. How many anions do you see? 1. So that's a total of 2. Okay? And the calcium chloride, that is also a cation-anion combination. Okay? And that is 1 cation and 2 anions. So sum those up. That's 1 plus 2. That's 3. Okay, I am hoping you are going to go back to your nomenclature unit if you don't recognize the names of these compounds. C6H12O6, that's sugar, and oh baby, that is super sweet, and it dissolves but does not disassociate in water, so therefore it has a Van Hoff factor of 1. Ammonium sulfate, ammonium sulfate, there are two ammonium ions, that's two cations, and one sulfate. So that's a Van Hoff factor of 3. And calcium phosphate is also a cation-anion combination. So you have 3 calciums and 2 phosphates. That's a total of 5. And sodium acetate, that's a sodium, 1 sodium, and 1 acetate, that's a Van Hoff of 2. And sodium oxalate, that is a, 2 sodiums and 1 oxalate, that's a 3. Carbon dioxide is a molecular compound. It does not dissociate. It's not combined in a cation-anion combination. That's why it's carbon dioxide. It has a prefix naming. And so this has a Van Hoff factor of 1. And then dinitrogen pentoxide. That's also a molecular compound. It does not dissociate. It dissolves in solution. And therefore, it would also have a Van Hoff factor of 1. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense for you. All right, here we go. That was the seventh video. And some people think I'm a dinosaur because I'm that old, but I'm really not. I'm just a young baby dinosaur. Um, I hope to see you for the eighth video when we're talking about boiling point and freezing points. Talk to you then.